Today, I'll show you how to file your crypto taxes on h and Block in the US with the help of Coinly. Hello, my name is Nelly and welcome back to another video. As the US tax season comes to a close, I thought I would finish up this uh, video for people that are using h and Block in the States. So the IRS needs you to file your crypto taxes as a part of your annual income tax return. So today we'll be using h and Block to file crypto capital gains and losses, any crypto income, and then any related expenses. Okay, so first things first, before we can actually file our crypto taxes on h and Block, um, we need to know exactly what we're reporting in terms of crypto activity. So the next step is to get your Coinly um, crypto tax report for the current financial year, and this will tell you what you need to share on h and Block. So this is a pretty straightforward process that I've explained in multiple different videos, even in our complete how-to guide for Coinly. But just to give you a quick breakdown of how this would usually go. So you would log into your Coinly account, you would add the various wallets and exchanges that you're dealing with, your Binances, your Coinbase, your Kraken, anything like that. And you would easily import these into Coinly. And I've made different videos on integrations and it's pretty straightforward, nothing too complicated. From there, you can review various transactions to see exactly you know, what you've been doing over the past year and making sure that these tra tra transactions are actually correct. Uh, and then you can go into your tax reports area where you have a fantastic summary of your crypto activity throughout the year, your capital gains, your income, your costs and expenses, and anything else that you need to know. So the reason this is so nice is because Coinly has done already all the complex work of figuring out your totals. Um, all your information here is something that you didn't have to actually calculate yourself, which saves you countless hours when you do your crypto taxes. So a fantastic tool and a fantastic area in general to monitor your crypto activity throughout the year. And once you're satisfied with that area, once you're satisfied with, you know, looking over your summary, you would head down to the tax report area and then you would download a tax plan that's appropriate for your needs. So today we're talking about h and Block, so we're interested in the IRS report form 8949 and Schedule D. So that is the one you would download and use to file your taxes on TurboTax. And you should be very happy, maybe even relieved to know that your Coinly report will be compliant with the tax rules of the IRS and that your capital gains will be calculated using the first in first out method, which is shown here. And if this is not you know, what you're seeing on your screen before you, you can head into the settings and make the necessary adjustments. Make sure that you have you know, USD as the base currency, uh, United States as the home country, and then the first in first out. If you would like to use a different method and you're more comfortable with let's say an LIFO, then you're more welcome to do that. But for this video, we're gonna be sticking to the first in first out. And for those of you that are actually wondering how you know crypto is taxed in the US, we've covered this. We have a video on it. I will leave a link in the top right corner and the description down below. We also have a fantastic guide that really digs deep into you know any questions you might have about crypto taxes in the US. So if you're interested, if you wanna learn a bit more, maybe spend a little time on this, it could potentially save you thousands of dollars on your crypto taxes. I'll obviously leave that down below as well. Alrighty, so once you have all your Coinly stuff um, done and you have that report ready, you're gonna actually head over into h and Block, log in to your account or create one if you, if you don't have one already. And then from there, you're going to be asked which type of plan you would like to select. So any crypto related activities on most third party um, softwares, tax softwares will require a premium plan. So make sure to select that one. You don't have to pay until you're done the entire process. And then after that, you're going to be asked a bunch of various personal questions like any other you know, third party application. So your address, your name, uh, your, your dependent, stuff like that. So make sure to fill those out accordingly. Okay, so assuming you filled out all that information correctly, the first set of things that you're gonna need to start answering is stuff about your income. So, you know, this will be stuff that'll be also related to you and what you're doing for this video. I'm not gonna be focusing on anything besides cryptocurrency. So if you have employment stuff that you need to add, you know, business stuff, obviously do that. I'm only interested in the crypto aspects of this video. The first screen that we're interested in is this one. Did you receive, sell, exchange, or dispose of any cryptocurrency? This includes cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, funny that they put that. If you only bought cryptocurrency with US dollars, you can answer no. So for this, we're gonna put yes. And then the other stuff, once again, fill out according to your needs. Okay, so you're gonna have a different menu, obviously, than mine, depending on how many different things you have in your income category, what different things you need to fill out. The one that we're interested in specifically is this cryptocurrency one. So we're gonna click on start. And here it says, let's report um, your cryptocurrency transactions. So we're actually interested in this option right here that says add transaction. And then there's a few different questions here we have to answer. 
So the first question we're gonna put in um, under service, Coinly tax summary. For description of property, we're gonna put short-term crypto assets. You'll have to do a separate et entry for long-term assets. So going back one page, um, clicking add transactions, and then doing this again for all your long-term stuff. For date acquired, you can leave that as blank. For exception to date acquired, um, since we're focused on um, held short-term, we're gonna select various held short-term. Um, once again, when you do the long-term, you're gonna select um, various held long-term, or maybe you only have short-term stuff, so that's okay, or maybe you only have um, long-term stuff, that's fine too. So date of sale is kind of where it gets a little bit tricky. You can't just ignore it. So the best option is to put the last date of sale. So for example, you know, let's say you have 100 different assets that were sold in 2021, um, but the last one was sold on December 31st, then you would put December 31st as your date of sale. So I'm gonna do that for mine. So, so 12, um, 31, um, 2021. And then the other two pieces of information is uh, ones that you're going to get directly from that report we downloaded. So heading back into Coinly, just to refresh your memory, um, pick a report. So we're interested in the IRS form 8949. So make sure to download that one. And here we have it on page one. These are the two pieces of information that we're looking for. So um, we're looking for proceeds. We're gonna copy and paste that number into H&R block. So it's going to round down there, I believe. And then we're looking at this category, cost or other basis. Um, it's gonna copy that and it's gonna round up on that one. So there you have it. You filled out your short-term crypto assets. If you have long-term assets, obviously do this again, change this to long-term and change this to various held long-term. And once you've filled it out, it should look something like this, the description, and then it should say, you know, your gain slash loss, which should be a value that's, you know, identical to this one that you see on your IRS form and it's $1,811. And that's exactly what we have here. Okay, so that is our capital gains and losses. Now we're interested in, you know, income from forks, mining, stuff like that. So that is actually gonna be found under here where we're gonna click add income and then we're gonna try to see more income types. So let's head over down to this area where it says less common income. So non-business income from 1099 miscellaneous, jury duty, gambling stuff that we're not interested in, but this is the category we're looking for. So heading over here, we're gonna find a income uh, not reported elsewhere. It's the very last option and we're gonna click on add. And that's gonna take us back to this main menu here and we're gonna start this process. Income not reported elsewhere, we're gonna click there. And then there's a bunch of different things that maybe you are, you know, you'll fill out according to your needs. Maybe you were lucky enough to win some prizes and awards. So uh, make sure to fill that out. But we're most interested in additional income not reported elsewhere. So, you know, this is the area we're going to put our crypto uh, income. So how do you know your crypto income, Nelly? Well, that's a really easy problem to solve. Going back into Coinly, uh, it's actually shown right here where it says $81 and um, 0.1 cents. So if you'd like to actually see a more detailed breakdown of that, you can download the complete tax report. So I'm gonna click that just to show you where that would be on that document. But if you want, you can just take this value and put it into H&R Block. And here it is on the um, tax report we just downloaded. So on the third page, you have a income summary, summary. And as you can see, I have a little bit of income from airdrops and then I have a little bit from other. So that ends up being $81. So let's go back into H&R Block. Here we're gonna put crypto income and then I'm gonna put $81. And there you have it. You've added your crypto income into H&R Block. Alrighty, so we reported our capital gains and losses. We've also reported our crypto income. Now we want to head over into the deductions area to report our deductions. So um, you're going to click on add deduction. And then let's see what other options they have and where we can you know, report our crypto stuff. So we're looking for this category that says retirement and investments. And specifically from here, we're looking at in, uh, investment loan interest uh, form 4952. So it includes loans you took to buy investment property or to buy a stock or other securities. That's the key term there on margin. So um, on our Coinly report, this is also on the third page where it says our expenses. So this would be things like cost, margin trade fee, margin interest fee, and this is the value we're looking for. So around $52. So we would add that and then we would click on start. And um, you know, there might be some other things that you have to report here. So investment interest expense deduction, investment interest is the interest you paid on loans used to buy um, or hold investment property like margin interest on brokerage. You can deduct this expense as an itemized deduction 
up to the amount of your net investment income. So did you pay investment interest expense in 2021 or to put um, yes? So once you've added that, it's going to give you an option here to start. Mine says needs review because I've already done this before. So um, did you pay any in investment interest expense in 2021 or did you have a 2020 disallowed interest? We're gonna put yes. And then here is we're gonna put that value which we have on the other page, which was $52. And then we're gonna click next. And then here disallowed expense form uh, from 2020, from 2020. That is going to be dependent on your needs. For me, it's going to be no. And then any other um, investment expenses, obviously, uh, once again, dependent on your needs. And then we're going to click on next. And there we have it. We've added our deductions. And we often talk about, you know, deductions and potentially being able to deduct the Coinly plan. So um, just a caveat here is if you're a salaried worker, you might not be able to deduct tax preparation fees for your return. It's a brand new IRS rule, which is really unfortunate. We're hoping that changes. But if you are, you know, a self-employed, you would be able to deduct this plan from your taxes. And this is a probably small, you know, section of people that might find this useful. But if you do have a business income and would like to deduct the tax preparation fees, you would go into the income section, then you would go under business and partnership. So let me just show you that real quickly um, here. So this is the income section, business and partnerships. And then from here, you would head over into, you know, self employment or business income schedule C. And this is where you would add your Coinly tax preparation deduction. And just a bonus tip here, I guess, because there's a lot of different menus and you might get lost. So it would be under the business expenses, which you would get to by filling out a bunch of, you know, questions that are specific to you. And then you would click on show more. And this is where you would be interested in the taxes and licenses. So that's where you report your Coinly tax plan as a deductible. But there you have it. You know how to file your capital gains and losses. You know how to file your income. You know how to report deductions. And even for those of you that are, you know, self-employed or have a business uh, where to report your Coinly plan as a deductible. If you have any questions, I'm going to leave some resources down below. Firstly, starting off with the Coinly Help Center, where we have countless different articles on crypto related, crypto tax related topics. We have a feedback section if you're having any issues with our software, downloading files, stuff like that. We'd be happy to, you know, hear your feedback. We have a forum section where you can talk to members of our community as well as our staff. And then lastly, we have a contact section where you can send us a message directly. But if you found this video helpful in any way, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.